Vista Social is a social media management tool that works with TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and more. Now, I've been using this tool for about six months, and today I would love to do a demo for you and provide you with my honest opinion about this tool so you know whether or not you should invest in this as well. So, let's get started. Now, if you are watching this video during AppSumo's Black Friday event, you can get Vista Social at an amazing discount right now, starting at $59. And these are the license tiers you can choose from. I have license tier 3. Now, AppSumo's Black Friday event has tons of amazing tools, some better than others. So what I did was review all the tools, and I personally handpicked 10 of the best ones I think you should get that will truly help grow your online business. Now, it really takes a lot of time to sift through the tools to really find those gems. So I did that for you and put my top 10 best deals you should be getting in an easy to read spreadsheet. So if you want this free checklist of my top 10 best deals you should be getting during AppSumo's Black Friday event, click the link in the description, then put your first name, email, and I'll instantly send over your free checklist. Now let's get started with our Vista social review. So this is your main dashboard. You can view all of the social accounts you've connected on the left hand side and you can organize your social accounts in various folders. Now to add an account, just click on quick add, then click on add social profile, then select a profile group. And these are all the social network or platforms you can connect to your Vista social account. Now to create a new post, just click on create, then click on new post. You first need to select your profile. I currently have Twitter. You can also select Facebook and any other account that you've connected. And this is where you add your post content. You can add various emojis. You can also save hashtags and use them across social posts you create in the future. I saved a group of hashtags right here. So just click on it and it will automatically append at the very end of your post. You can also create and save captions as well. So if you use the same captions or hashtags, you can click on it and then click on the hashtag or caption group. And if you have AppSumo's tier three plan, you have access to custom fields. Now, custom fields allow you to pre-populate text that you assign to it. So if you see yourself typing out the same piece of text, like maybe a specific phrase, name, address, you can create a custom field for those. And all you do is just click on it and that custom field will automatically populate in the post text. So this helps you save so much time because you don't always have to be typing out that same piece of text every single time. So to create a custom field, click on this icon and click on add custom field, name your custom field, and input a default value. So I created a custom field of people and these are the values for that custom field. And whenever you mention someone, Vista Social will try to find that account to allow you to verify whether or not that account is the right one for that platform. So this is helpful because it prevents you from tagging the wrong account. You can also change the text look as well. So say, for example, I want Black Friday to have this circle style. Just click on that and you can see Black Friday now looks like this. So pretty neat, right? And with AppSumo's tier three plan, you have access to their AI assistant. So these are various examples of what you can ask the AI assistant to generate. So let's type one right here, click on generate caption. And here we go. Then just click on use selected and it will append the text at the very end. And it's actually pretty good. So it says preparing my wallet for Black Friday, taking it through yoga and meditation exercises right now, wallet, breathe in and breathe out those savings. You can also add your URL. You can upload video images and also documents. So you can upload your media from your computer, from a URL, or choose a media file from your Vista social account that you've uploaded in the past. You can discover free media as well. So you can find free images through Unsplash, Pexels, Jiffy. You can also search through Instagram hashtags and also Instagram users. So if you want to use an image from someone's Instagram account, just type in the user and Vista Social will pull all of the images and just click the one you want and click on upload. Okay, so it is uploaded into the post. So really cool feature. You can also connect your, you can also connect your Google Drive account, Dropbox, OneDrive. You can also design an image via Canva. 
or create a dynamic image. Now this one is really cool. So this feature will dynamically create an image from the text that you've inputted. So this is my text and it's inside this image. You can use your post caption or you can type in any text you want. You can change the image dimensions, choose either the light theme or dark theme, pick a solid color, a gradient, or choose from your media library. And there's also other editing features that you can select as well. So really powerful feature. You can also upload multiple images. So I'm going to click on choose from library and click on this one, which is a GIF and click on select. Okay, so now I have two images in my post. You can also attach a label to this post as well. So if you have specific campaigns, you can mark your posts according to the various campaigns that you are running. So this is a great feature to help you organize all the posts that you publish uh, throughout the months, through, throughout the years. And on the right hand side is where you can tweak your post according to social media platform. Say for example, I want to make my tweet shorter. I can just edit the text right here. You can edit the media as well by clicking these three dots. You can have Vista Social automatically publish this or send you a reminder notification so you can manually do it from your phone yourself. And one of the favorite features of Vista Social is the ability for you to add post comments. So you can create a Twitter thread, or if you want to add a comment to your post on other social media platforms, you can create the comment right here. So I'm gonna create a second comment saying something like, I am, and you can see the preview right here okay so this is my second comment and this will get published as a twitter thread you can also create the first like and choose to have this post be only for super followers and select your reply options so everyone can reply people you follow can reply only people you mention can reply so as you can see vista social has some very powerful customizations and then for facebook you can change the text for facebook as well in this box. You can click here to edit the media. You can publish as image or as a carousel. You can again add comments to this Facebook post. You can add a location, country targeting, relationship status, gender, minimum age and maximum age for your post targeting. And if you select additional profiles on the left, you can then click on the icon on the right to update that post for that specific social media platform. Okay, so once you are done customizing your post, you can save it as a draft, add it to your queue, schedule it, or publish it now. Okay, so there are other things you can create as well. So you can create a note. You can pick a specific date on where you want the note to appear. You can choose a specific color, create a title, a note, choose your visibility, either public or private, and choose your profile groups, then click save. Now, when you go to your calendar, that note will appear on that date you've added it. So you can see it right here. So a great way to stay organized. Now you can also create ideas. So whenever you have an idea pop up, you can use this feature to save all of those ideas so you don't forget them. Just click on create idea. So you type in your idea and all of the post creation features are available to you here as well. So if you want to add a video, an image, a document, or format your text however you want, you can do so right here and click on save idea. So this is a previous idea I created with some text and an image. And if you invite your team members, you can collaborate with your team and have them leave you comments. And you can see that thread right here. And if this idea looks good, you can tweak it if you want, then click on create a post. And now you are in the publish window where you can do additional tweaks and then go ahead and schedule it or publish it now. There's also bulk publishing. You can find content across the web. Now this one is really cool because you can find the latest news by typing in a company, product, or keyword here. You can also find content through Instagram hashtags, Instagram users. You can also find loyalty-free images from Unsplash and Pexels, find GIFs, and also find royalty-free videos from Pexels as well. So say for example, you want to find content from an Instagram user, just click on user search, then type in the Instagram user, and Vista Social will pull all of their content. And now you can select the ones you want and add it to your media library, or 
create a post from these images. Vista Social also has smart publishing. If you want to make sure you have fresh content on your social media profiles, this could be a very powerful feature you can use. So you can select trending news, the country, the category, when you want to publish it, how many posts of these you want to post a day. You can also filter by keywords. Also create prepend or a pen text to this post. Vista Social also has an Instagram planner, TikTok planner, and also a Twitter thread maker as well. Let me show you the Instagram planner. So you can use this to see how your posts will look like in your Instagram profile. You can move your media to see how it will look. You can move things around and start a post from this window as well. So if you kind of like how these two images look like, just click on this pencil icon to create your post. And this is their calendar view and you can change how the calendar looks like. So you can decide whether or not you want a preview of each post in this calendar view. You can add national holidays, religious holidays, fun holidays, and so on. There's also this list view, which I think is really nice because it shows you the entire post in this streamlined view. And these are all of the media files that you've uploaded or used in a previous post. They also have an inbox feature as well. You can view all of the mentions and also messages. You can also view comments, reviews, and also shares. And from this view, you can reply to those mentions or reply in DM or add a private note to this particular conversation. So this feature allows you to communicate with your audience without having you to log into that specific social media profile to do so. There's also listening. So you can add specific keywords and whenever that keyword is mentioned, it'll be listed right here. You can manage your reviews. So Facebook reviews and Google My Business reviews will be here. You can also list specific tasks that you want to list out to remember for the future. Now, this is great if you have a team and you want to work with your team, assign tasks to your team members to make sure everyone is moving along and is on the right track. And they also have reports. You can click on run report and you have a few options here. So you can run a report for the social media performance, the post performance, review performance, tasks, and also a competitor analysis. So let's click on social media performance. So this is how the social media performance report looks like for my Twitter profile. You can see some high level numbers here, your audience growth, the engagement, how many posts you've published according to your time period that you've selected on the top right, and so on. All right, so this concludes our Vista Social review. I really love the powerful features that they give you to create social media posts. But aside from that, in terms of what can be improved, I think the UI UX can be improved to make it easier to use. It did take me a while to get used to the tool, but I think if they improve on the UI, it'll be much easier to get off the ground in the beginning. So again, if you are watching this video during AppSumo's Black Friday event, you can choose from these various tiers. I think tier three is an excellent option. And if you want to know my personal top 10 must have deals you should be getting for AppSumo's Black Friday event, Click the link in the description, fill out this form, and you'll instantly get access to my free Google spreadsheet. Okay, so with that said, thanks so much for watching. If you wanna check out my other videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen, and I will see you in the next one.